Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Angela the Traveling Crafter. I feel like I haven't been in this room for so long, but truthfully, I guess I was in here for just about a half an hour this morning, so there was that. Well, we are going to get back at it. We're not really gonna do anything thrilling today, but I thought I would combine this. That We're still working on Demi's planner, um, mindful art journal combo that I am going to give her when she goes to um, to school, to college. And so I thought I would show you a couple things and combine it maybe with a little bit of a um, bowl of books because I've got a couple I think that you might be interested in. So let's go ahead and get started. If you are new here, uh, I enjoy paper crafting. I enjoy all things art inspired, interior design. We love to travel, and I love thrifting for vintage treasures. So, what do we have? Uh, first of all, I'll show you this. I uh, recently went live on the Maker's Market, which also uh, is broadcast on here on my channel. And I was showing how uh, I used some old scrapbook paper, literally from a vintage scrapbook, uh, to make this little pocket. So we'll punch the holes in this just like we will with all the pages, and this will slide into Demi's planner. And oh, I hope that it fits. Oh, it does, yeah. So that is what it looks like on this side, and it's got all these little pockets here. And then you flip it over on this side, and there are all the pockets there. So this is really brittle, so I don't know how well it's gonna last, but um, we may find a spot for that in just a little bit. I also came across uh, before, well, I had YouTube, but I wasn't doing videos. But before I did that, I had some courses on mindfulness uh, that, you know, people could register for online and pay. It was during the pandemic, you know. And uh, one of the courses I did, we actually did a little doodling, kind of dot journaling. And I had created uh, some of these I don't think these are the ones that I showed there, but these are just some samples. And I thought, well, maybe we can do something fun with, with these and um, see what we can do. This, this one, I'm going to see if I can, it has to be about this size. So I'm going to see, I think I should be able to, let's just mark it and cut it down because I'm going to put this one in her journal because it's already done. We may as well. And she gets a little bit of ma mama doodling on here. So, mama doodles. All right, so we're going to cut off the edge. And I know it needs to be nine and a half. I just want to make sure that that, let's do that real quick. I have a feeling this thing's going to be awfully big. I'm probably going to have to take some pages out of it. Um, I have honestly not worked on this since... <sighs> before vacation, I think. Well, yeah, it was before vacation. So I need to get my booty in gear. Um, what am I doing? How wide is this? See, I told you I, I needed to. Okay, it is. This one's just under, it should be seven and a half, but let's cut off this side. This, these sides first. I got new blades in my trimmers. Now, if you don't know this, because I didn't, and I, because I'm not the attention to detail kind of girl, um, on the bottom of your trimmer, if it's a Fiskars trimmer, I would assume most would be like this. Well, why am I doing this side? I don't even know. Um, on the very bottom, it will tell you the type of blade that you need for your trimmer replacement. Yeah, did you know that? I'll show you in a second. And that would have been good for me to know long ago because I ordered some blades because I was too lazy to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... How much can I fold this? I know that's not going to matter anyway. It's fine. Um, yeah, I ordered replacement blades, and they weren't really the right ones. So, mm -hmm. so 
I dealt with it for a while. There are probably some generic ones. I don't know. Oh, nine and a half. I need to go nine and a half. Let's go here, nine and a half. Well, that's the longest. That took me longer than necessary to cut a piece of paper. Okay, let me show you. Well, you probably can't see, see it. Right here, it says blade style eye. Can you see that? Probably not, but it's on there. It's kind of raised embossed on there. So now you know, just in case you didn't, because I did not. All right, so we've got these two pages we're going to add to it. I also, if you watched my last doodling, I've got all of these little pieces that I did on that discarded book page from that book that I took apart. So we've got those. Um, this one I probably won't use. She's got, I got her the pages, which I'll show you in a minute. But this, I think, would be fun to... I'm just going to put this in my scratch paper because I'm not going to use that anymore. Um, this one, I think, would be cool to replicate in some way, shape, or form. Just so she has a sample of it and she can play around with it. And then, what do I do with the other one? Oh, it's up. No? Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's under here. Okay, so we're going to... Try to do something with maybe this one, too. And then this is, um, this was from my Be Your Selfie class. So this is a mind map. This is one of my mind maps. So I thought I would, I don't know. I think this might confuse her too much. I maybe just will show her how to do a mind map. Uh, but for her, I think it would be very helpful. Um, and she likes the art part of it, so I think she could make it pretty. So I'm going to, I'll do something with that probably just with her. Um, but here are a few things that I thought you might be interested in. This is a dot journaling, an interactive guide to designing a creative and practical planner. And, um, it's just, it's got different things like different kinds of trackers, like habit trackers and dot journaling, just so you know is basically you're just using papers with little dots on them, like you can see. Oh, well, maybe. There's tiny little dots on there. But it goes through all kinds of, you know, the basics. Um, here, Dot Journal, an organizational system in a notebook that combines elements of journaling, planning, and tracking to maximize your efficiency. Typically done through utilizing short sentences and rapid logging, so you don't have to spend 10 minutes outlining that you have a meeting with your boss on Thursday. <clears throat> And then you use the little dot grid paper. Um, but it is a great book. And it kind of combines doodling. There's some samples. That's cute. So I think this is a good inspiration. If you are someone who um, may want to do something combined with a planner, um, the ISBN on this is 978-1-4413-3272-1. It's uh, by, <clears throat> excuse me, Peter Popper Press, <clears throat> written and illustrated by Hannah Bielinson. Okay, so that is, that's one that I think you might want to know about. Uh, the next one is a magazine. Now, um, I'm sure this is probably out of print. I don't know how old this is. Gosh, does it say? Um, but this is one I've read, obviously, you can tell I've use this a lot. I've probably pulled some things out of it um, as well and used. But it's one that I keep on my shelf in my office and I refer back to it. Um, plus, it's got really nice not shiny pages. Gosh, I really want to know what year this is from. It's got to be at least... Twenty seventeen. Wow, that's way older than I thought it was. Um, but I really like these. Anything that Calm puts out are great, are great books. And like I said, I just keep this in my office. And sometimes, like if I do a devotion or I just do some mindfulness and I'm sitting in the office comfy, um, this is one that I will grab out. And so it's a great, great reference. Calm Look to the Stars is this one. But there's newer ones, I'm sure. I just don't have them. And then finally, this one. Now, when I say old, this one is probably, 
this has to be, uh, maybe as old as one of my kids. I'm pretty sure I've had this for that long. It's ISBN 13978-1-601-40-560-9. Uh, um, maybe there's copyright in it. Well, Deb Moore, she was the craft. Oh, I guess it's really a magazine, considered a magazine. 2007. See, I told you I've had it. Demi was one. So that's how long I've had this book. Um, but I I bought this when I was doing a lot of scrapbooking because I found myself doing more paper crafting than art. And so this was kind of a cool inspiration for me. And um, I haven't looked at it for a very long time, but I do like it a lot. So there's some good ideas in here. See these little flourishes. It's probably where I got a lot of my ideas on the things that I do today, like that. <laughs> oh, look, these look like the bags that I have on the Maker's Market. Cute. So anyway, those are books that I thought we could um, use for inspiration. What I think I might do, um, because I really like the three, these three that I showed you, um, for myself. So perhaps if she likes this, maybe for another, you know, like a birthday or Christmas, I might get her some kind of book like this that might inspire her further. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what she, how much she uses it. Okay. Let's talk gifts. Let's talk about what I got Demi Rose to go with it. I'm going to find some cute type of desk organization thing that's big enough to put all of this in. Um, but she found these two the other day. I told you she was Snoop Doggin. She was Snoop Doggin around looking for my markers because she wanted to make a card for um, my Nana or her Nana for her birthday and my mom. And she's like, well, where are the markers? And she's like, well, why can't I use these? And I'm like, just get out of there. That is not for you to look at. So I did buy, end up buying her both the, um, the bullet tip and the brush tip. And she, she comes in here and gets mine quite often. So I think this is, a, that was a great purchase. I also got, oh, sure. I also got her, um, a very cheap set of watercolors. Uh, this is similar to what I have. Um, I don't really think that you need expensive watercolors unless you are a watercolor, um, that is your niche and you are a watercolor artist specifically, then you're probably going to need a wide array of, of colors. Um, if I work in acrylic, I want every color I can possibly, you know, think of, and I want really, really good brands. But for us, for what we do, you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money. And for her, I certainly, I think she'll have a good time with it. And um, I think those will work just fine. Uh, what I think she'll probably use more, and I have not opened them. And by the way, all of these are on um, in my Amazon uh, store, my favorite things. There's a link in the description. Um, I think there's direct links for the Sharpie Create Markers um, on in the description too. But everything that I have bought here, with maybe the exception of the one thing I'm going to show you next, are all on my Amazon um, page. That's my affiliate page that you can go by. It doesn't cost you anything to... Ooh, these are nice. These are nicer than mine. <laughs> this is blendable, non-toxic, water-based, easy washable. That's what we want. Key Depot watercolor brush pens. So 24 pens. So let's just try a couple out here. We'll use that paper I just put away. And it comes with a water brush. That's nice. I think I have a water brush so we don't have to contaminate hers. But we'll try a couple of these. Um, okay, they're pretty lightweight. They don't seem quite, quite as substantial as mine. What brand are mine? I'll look here. Um, yeah, these aren't bad. Here, 
here. Let's do this. Let's get the let's get the page wet first. I should have rinsed off my. Oh yeah, I think those will be fine. I'm just scribbling. Yeah, those are nice. I think she'll like those. So they're really lightweight. Um, not quite as substantial as mine. And if you want to know what mine are, and I don't think, whoa, I don't think mine are really anything expensive either, if I remember right. Let me put these back in there. I'm just waiting for her to come down here. It's not like she comes down here every every day and hangs out in my craft room, but the minute I get all this stuff out, it's probably the time that she will do that. So I should probably put these away. Oh, can't get them in the box. Okay, mine are not those. Oh, mine are like Crayola, Chocola. I have no idea. I've had them for a long, long time, and they've. I'd say I give them a ten out of ten. They've lasted forever. So, um, let me put these all back in the box so she doesn't see me. And then I did splurge and bought her something. You know bougie girls sometimes, but I thought she would like these. I got their Kate Spade pens, and I really want to try one because both, oh, they're, they are the color that they say. Fine tip pen. Oh, maybe this isn't a bad idea. Um, she and I are kind of pen snobs. <laughs> we have certain pens that we like. Um, so, let's try these out and see if these are the colors. She might really like these. Oh, it's got a little nib on it. Oh, these are, I don't know if she'll like those. They're very fine tipped, but they're cool. And they are the colors. So it's green, pink, red, blue, dark blue, and light blue. It's fine. She'll think that they're cool. Designer pens, you know. Happy college. How long do you think these will last before she loses them? I don't know, but. You know, sometimes when you get nice, a little bit nicer things, they keep track of them a lot longer. I, I'm very, she's actually pretty good about keeping her pens in order. Cause like I said, she has certain ones she likes, but, and we, we tend to like the same one. So that's her little bonus gift, um, to go with it. All right. So then lastly, what I got, all right, we're going to move this over here because we want at least these to figure them out. But look at look at this since we were together last. I don't know. I put everything kind of in place and it's pretty fat. So I can't add any more. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take some of this out. There's no way. But what I did find and oh goodness, who was it? I was gonna write it down before I did this video. Please tell me who it was, which one of you told me about these on Amazon. These are um, colored papers, and I thought we would just take a couple. I don't want to mess it up too, too much. Um, and then I also got the calendar. Um, it's from, I thought that said 2021. July 2024 to June 2025. So it is a student... Um, student copy, you know, or a teacher planner, I guess it could also be known as. I'm just going to take out one sheet of each one of these so I can just put one in there. And then these will just go with her. I should have done this before him too. These are nice papers. Darn it, who was it? I want to think, was it Terry? Not, not, uh, not Mick Mouse Terry, but I think might have been the other Terry, but shoot, I can't remember. That's horrible. I wrote it down somewhere, too. I have it down here. Okay, the yellow is giving me a fit. Come on now. Oh, for the love of Pete. I'm making this a mess. <laughs> Darn it. Oh, that one's coming out, too, because I messed it up. Oh. See, now I gotta fix that little booger. 
Come on, blue and green. We're going to pull you out from the middle so we get both of them. And we'll put those in there. And then I'll share with you what we have left, what I think we will do in our next video. Because I just needed to get in here and I'm not really prepared to do anything. I've been working. Um, I have three live. Well, I did a live today. Um, for goodness sakes. I'll fix that later. Um, I had... A live this morning, just a this, that, and a chat. And then I have our live sale on Thursday. And then I have two on the Maker's Market on Friday. I'm going to I'm going to try to get this out. Well, this will come out after. But you can watch the replays as well. So those are all going to go in here. And then we got to find a place for all of these. So we're just going to do it so we have one in there. So she has a sampling. I think I shared this. This is one of my pieces of art. There we go. That goes perfect there. And I have not put tabs on these. So we'll just kind of find a spot for that. This pink one might look okay right there. I'm not being real crazy about, real particular. Oh yeah, yellow there. The green one looked really cute there too. Purple. I'll put purple here by that little piece. Okay, so those are all in there. Let's take a look and see what this calendar business looks like. And see what we, oh, we also have to put these two in there. <laughs> oh, oh boy. I like that there. And I might put it, I might have to um, cover that with something. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave it. Just leave it raw and normal. No, I don't like it by the black. Oh yeah, right there. So that matches that. All right. That's all in there. Well... I really hope, really hope those rings are big enough. I think they will be. But I think it'd be fun for her to get. I'll put a big bow on it and um, then she can decide. And then I have all of the stickers and such that go with it. Okay, so let's see. Maybe she'll want to, maybe I should save that package. Mm, I better think, look at this first and see. This is the directions. This week, so it's got this week. I guess that was the bonus that was in there. Is that all they get is that many? Alright, so here... <clears throat> Yeah, maybe what I'll do is I'll just keep these out. <clears throat> I'll put them in a nice, cute little something, all of the extras. And let's just put in August. And that way, she, she can decide where she wants all the rest of them. I personally like all mine in there together. But... Um, For the sake of our project, I think we'll just put this in the front. Okay. So we got that. That comes with that. I think it needs to be like right here. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So that was Better Note. And let's see what Better Note has to say here. I like the paper too. I bet it's going to be fun to write on. Um,. Customize your notebook the way you want it. This is These are also in my Amazon store. Peel and press pages. Oh, that's what this means. I believe. Yeah, that's it. Nothing, nothing spectacular. Pretty straightforward. Well, these two are going in with my papers over here. And then I'll fix the rest of them. But, um... 
I may also just give these to her and she can she can put them in. Maybe I'll just stick one of them in there. And then she can have the rest of these as well. So when we come back, we are going to assemble all of this. Um, I will do you the favor of punching all of these. I'll, pun I'll leave a few so you guys can see. But I'll punch all of these pages. And then um, I will get most of them into the rings. And then um, I'll show you just how easy it is because you do not want to have to watch that. And then we'll flip through it and um, add some some stickers, some of the little things that we've got and see if we need anything else. Um, and then the rest I'll just kind of bundle up. I've got all of these, um, these things over here. I've got this, this is what I got when I was in um, Tennessee. It says, I think I read this to you, enjoy each moment. The elegant grace of a dragonfly is nature's reminder to say we should enjoy, enjoy all that surrounds us and the treasures every day. Keep hope and have faith in all that you endeavor to do. Know your life will be blessed and your dreams will come true. And then I wrote, I love you on the back. Mommy. Um, the dragonfly also represents uh, change and, um, you know, new beginnings. So I think that that's kind of appropriate. And then I have two. I want to put a little bit, just a little something, something. And I have two of Carrie the Paper Monkey's ruffles that I'm going to put on there. So I'll put those two. And then I might put just this one little strip of ribbon just on one page edge. Um, but we can decide where that goes when... That looks cute together, doesn't it? When we come back and do that. So I will... And I have some more things. What else do I have over here? Oh, just little, little, little stuff. So I will um, punch these all out. We will come back, and I think we will be nearing the finishing point. Now, the unfortunate part is I don't have the I don't have the receptacle in which to put all of this. So, um, I might have to come back and show you, or take a picture and put it on my community tab when it's all when it's all said and done. But I'm really loving this. And you know what? If that girl doesn't like this, and she says she doesn't want to use it. Well, I'm not going to blame her because I'm just, I mean, I'm giving her something that she can kind of take and relax with and not have to have stress. Uh, but you know what? I can make one of these with an A and S just as easy with a D and an S, right? And then I'll have my planner. Now, I will tell you that for my planners, I use the larger one. Like, I've used the same planner over and over and over again. And, oh, I had another um, piece of advice. Um, see how fat mine is? I mean, it's pretty fat, but I've used this one every year. Uh, someone else said, and I'm like, why didn't I think of that? And I'm, again, I'm not get, going to be able to give credit because I didn't look before I started this video. Um, that the way I could have, and I don't, I just really don't know what I was thinking, but the way in which I can, um, make this sturdier in the future is just take two pieces of cardstock, or maybe even three, and then laminate it. Duh. So there's my aha moment. My, what was I thinking moment. So thank you for giving that recommendation. I love it. Um, I am going to go. I hope, I know it's a quick one. I know it was just kind of a, here's where we are in the process. Uh, but I'm going to first try to get this, green paper back in here and make it look pretty and uh then i'm going to punch these pages so wish me luck and i will see you next time until then friends remember to take time to just be we'll see you soon cheers